the Android Doctor back again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sideload a ROM onto your Motorola Moto G. So if you accidentally um, wiped your phone clean, so for example, if you went into advanced wipe and you wiped your internal storage and your system, you'd have wiped your phone totally clean. Um, so your ROM, what you placed on your phone's internal storage will no longer be there. As you can see, it's no longer there on mine. So um, I'm going to show you how you can still flash the ROM onto your phone. Because as you all know, this phone doesn't have an external SD card. So you can't put the ROM onto your external SD card. Um, the only way to put the ROM onto your phone is to sideload it. So I'm just going to show you how to do it real quick. Um, in order to do this, you will need to have your Fastboot set up. So in order to set up Fastboot, you will need two things. You'll need the Android SDK and your USB drivers. I'll leave a link to both of those in the description somewhere down here. So just download it and set it up. Once it's set up, you should have a folder on your, on your um, desktop or anywhere you start it to set up. Um, so I've got mine here on my desktop. It should be called ADB Tools and it should look like this. So what you'll need to do is just drag and drop your ROM into a blank space on there. So I've just put the ROM on there. And now you'll need to connect your phone to USB. Then select advanced and select ADB sideload. Then swipe across. Okay, the next thing you need to do now is find the blank space on here. And hold shift on your keyboard and right click on your mouse. And select open command window here until you see this black box pop up. Now you just need to run the command. So just type ADB space side load. Oh, hold on, I've done it in capitals. Okay, ADB side load space and then you just need to type the name of the ROM. So the name of my ROM is Apple Soul Project version 3. So I'm just going to type that in. You need to type it in just like how it is. Just like how it's spelled. So if it's got capitals like how mine has capitals, you need to spell it just like that. Okay, so I'm going to type it in. So E... P S I L O N Capital P R O J E C T V three and then you need to put dot zip at the end. So dot zip. That's very important. Make sure you put dot zip at the end. Now just hit enter on your keyboard. And now, as you can see, it's flashing onto there. It's at 9%, 10%. 15%. My camera can't really focus that good for some reason. at 47 so you just need to wait for it to get to 
a hundred percent and then the ROM will finish flashing onto your phone so remember guys you need to spell the name of your ROM just like how it's spelled and don't forget to put dot zip on the end or else it won't work So it's at Okay, so now I can swipe to unlock. So don't disconnect your phone until it says reboot system. So reboot system. And now the ROM should boot up. So I'm going to unplug it. Okay, so it's finished booting. So yeah, that was just a quick video, guys, showing you how to side boot a ROM onto your phone if you accidentally wiped your internal storage clean. So yeah, if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more Motorola Moto G tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Doses.